Hey everybody, thanks a lot for joining me again for another episode of Straight Talk on Photography. I'm Adam Welch. Today we're going to be talking about something very cool and it's something very unique. And those two things are hard to come by in the world of photography. Today we're going to have a look at the Alter RFS, their rapid filter system. This is a flip up filter holder that goes on the front of your lens and the filter goes on the front of the holder and you can selectively take your filter on and off without having to unscrew them. It was something that for whatever reason I didn't think would be very practical for me. I don't know why I thought that in the beginning, but I agreed to have a look at it and I could not have been more wrong. I love this thing. I've been working with the RFS for the last couple of weeks and I got out with it today and made some video and I think you're going to like it. Incidentally, I actually wanted to use this with my large format camera, which it does fit and do some large format infrared photography because this is going to be perfect for flipping up the infrared filter and focusing and then flipping it back down for your exposure. Incidentally, I'm a jackass, and as it turns out, I ordered this in the 77 millimeter filter size, which is the majority of my filters, but the infrared filter I have is 72 millimeters. Yeah, that's my mistake, but nonetheless, I was able to get out and use this quite a bit, and like I said, it was fairly impressive for such a small piece of kit. So let's have a look at the videos that I made today and see a little bit more about the RFS from Alter. All right, so I'm out here on the trails, found a nice shady spot here, and I'm going to attach the altar to my Sony A7R by means of a step-up ring. Because this is a 77 millimeter size filter thread on the altar, and the lens itself is a 67 size filter thread. Now, if you have the RFS Plus, this is just a regular RFS. If you have the RFS Plus that has the integrated step-up ring, you don't have to worry about that. Now that we've got our trusty RFS attached to our lens, it's time to put on a filter. And this is literally nothing new. The filter will just screw on to the front of the RFS. And it really is just that simple. When you don't want to use the filter, it stows up and out of the way, such as for focusing and that kind of thing. When you're ready to use it, put it right back down. And like I said, it is actually something that I didn't know if I would use a lot or not, but I have to say now that I have one and I've kind of got used to the concept, I really, really, really like this. Now there's a question I've been thinking a lot about, and that is who would get the most use out of the RFS from Alter. And I'm hesitant to say that every photographer could benefit from this. It's true, I think that you could find use of it no matter what kind of photography you might be doing. But those who do a lot of landscape work, if you do a lot of videography, anybody who finds themselves using a filter, uh, whether it's a you know, CPL, a polarizer, or an ND filter, and you have to take that filter on and off for a lot of your work, the RFS is really going to come in handy for you and make your life a lot easier. And there you have it, the RFS, the rapid filter system from the good folks over at Alter. This is their standard model, just the regular RFS. They actually offer an RFS Plus, which features an integrated step-up ring so you can use larger filters with smaller sized lenses. That is going to be very interesting. I can't wait to see what they do with that. I want to take just a second and talk about the vignetting issue that sometimes occurs with the RFS from Alter. If you are using a prime lens, that's a lens that does not zoom, if you're using a prime lens that is wider than 18 millimeters in focal length, you will have vignetting with the RFS. If you happen to be using a zoom lens that is wider than 30 millimeters, you will have vignetting with the RFS. For example, I was using a 24 millimeter Sigma, which is being filmed with right now, and it had no vignetting with the RFS because it was above that 18 millimeter cutoff for prime lenses. Now on the other hand, with the Sony, with the 24 to 70 millimeter, I did see some vignetting at that 24 millimeter low end of the wide angle. 
That was to be expected since it's below the 30 millimeter cutoff for zoom lenses. Now when I zoomed in about four more millimeters, that vignetting completely disappeared and it was gone at all the focal lengths after that. So keep that in mind if you are going to be using the RFS with any super wide prime or zoom lenses. All right guys, that's gonna wrap up the RFS from Alter. Check that out. I don't think you're gonna be disappointed. Their Kickstarter is live right now, or at the time this was recorded. There's a lot of early bird specials, a lot of rewards that if you want one of these, it would be a good idea to get in on early. What's coming up next for Straight Talk on Photography? I'm actually reviewing the TC2335 carbon fiber travel tripod from knf concept it's a nifty little tripod the best part about it i'm going to be giving it away at the end of the month so be sure you're a subscriber to be entered into that contest and when the video comes out here in the next day or so i actually have a nice discount code for you so you can go get that tripod for yourself if you like it and a little bit of a discount just for being a subscriber to straight talk on photography so until next time guys i'm adam welch thanks a lot for joining me and we'll see you next time All right, guys, that's going to wrap up about the... that to say. But if you can, it's something that's really cool. There's a big-ass squirrel.